It is a banner day today for NASA. The first launch of a brand new rocket and what could eventually be a momentous return to the moon. We have ignition and liftoff of the first United Launch Alliance Vulcan rocket. There was the moment, the Vulcan Centaur rocket lifting off from Cape Canaveral around 2 o'clock this morning, Eastern Time. Its payload includes a commercial lunar lander. It's expected to reach the moon next month, and if all goes to plan, it'll be the first mission of its kind to launch from the U.S. in more than 50 years. And that's why we're talking about this today, why it's such a big deal, Marianne, for NASA. Yeah, not only for NASA, but for those like you and I who just love everything space. So fascinating. But a lot of stakes uh, are on the table. The stakes are high. This could be a game changer if it's very successful because if it all goes to plan, this could be the first commercial lander to touch down on the moon's surface. It could also be the first successful lunar mission uh, to launch from the United States in more than 50 years. And here's that moment again. As Heather, you just mentioned, it happened just after 2 o'clock this morning, blasting off from Cape Canaveral. On board here is not only the Peregrine lunar lander, but also some instruments from NASA that will help uh, with future experiments. Also interesting to note that it's also carrying some human remains from two different space burial companies. That might be interesting if you haven't been following the story, but yes, I did say human remains, and they also include some pretty interesting humans uh, to note, uh, including the uh, creator of the original Star Trek series, as well as some of the cast members of that original Star Trek show. So a lot at stake here, uh, but again, it could be a game changer, Heather, if this all goes to plan and if it is all a success. It's all part of a larger plan. The ambitions are huge for NASA to, yes, go to the lunar surface again, but also beyond. Absolutely. The goal of the Artemis mission is to bring humans to Mars. That is the plan, not only to uh, have a more of a prolonged uh, presence in outer space, but imagine, Heather, to see those humans touch down in Mars, uh, perhaps in our lifetime. For now, though, we are looking ahead to later this year, November of this year specifically. That's when Artemis 2 is taking off with some astronauts on board, notably one Canadian astronaut, Jeremy Hansen, the first Canadian to be headed to the moon. They'll be orbiting the moon for several days, and that will be quite key. Of course, Canadians were excited to hear his name when it was announced uh, just uh, recently that he would be on board that. Then Artem Ar Artemis 3, excuse me, that is happening in 2025. They'll have humans touching down in the moon on the moon to explore the uh, s south lunar poll and uh, that's also key because they're going to be doing some experiments there so all very exciting Heather but again also very inspirational just the the possibilities here if all goes as planned absolutely big year for space and we'll be talking about it all through thank you Marianne